to a day in our life. This is the show where you get a little bit of everything. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show. So our contractor left, I don't know what that's called. He left that here um, and things aren't getting done. So Matt is just taking it into his own hands to use his machine and move all this stuff. I'm just kidding. Um, they actually came and moved. Don't know if you remember, there's a big pile of just trash from the build, a bunch of concrete. Um, so they finally hauled that away and he taught Matt how to use the Again, I don't know what it's called. He taught him how to use it. And so now he's moving um, all of the sand is for us. Um, we're keeping all the sand, but he's moving some over here for his dad. And then we're gonna use the rest for, I can't remember what he wants to use it for, but he has a plan for it. So these are all of our decorations. <sighs> We've had them sitting here for a couple days. Um, this is a tree that my parents actually gave to us. So it's a better tree, um, bigger than the one that you probably have seen um, in previous years outside of the RV. But hopefully tonight we'll start decorating. Um, we're probably gonna wait till Eva goes to bed because She's gonna be in everything, and whenever she wakes up in the morning, things will be more decorated. But decorating videos will be in Vlogmas. So starting on December 1st, we'll be doing videos. We're gonna show decorating, festive things, things that we do. I know we're probably gonna try to go to Santa's Ranch, which is the drive-through lights um, in between San Marcos and San Antonio. Lots of holiday things coming up. Hopefully you're having a wonderful day. Getting into the holiday spirit. There's, there's no shame in getting into it early. There's no shame. The world needs more Christmas cheer. That's what I always say. Okay, time for the more serious talk. Um, what's the deal with Texas winter? I mean, I don't know if it's technically winter yet, but this morning it was like high 40s. It's like 45 degrees. Wonderful. It was awesome. It was chilly. It was just, it was great. So this morning we had the heater on. We still use our little space heater that we kept in the RV. The, um, this guy, the new air heater. If you've been around on the channel for a long time, I mean, that is the same one that we were sent by that company like six years ago, five or six years ago. But we had that on this morning. Didn't have to use the big heater. We've only had to use that once so far. While we're in the living room, we turn on the little new air heater and it, it works great for smaller spaces. Eva was in a sweater. I had a jacket on. And now this afternoon we have to turn the AC on and I'm sweating because it's back up to like 90 degrees. It's just crazy. I mean, I guess it's nice because you get the best of both worlds, but I just can't figure out how to dress for the day. Cause this morning I had sweats on, I had a jacket on, and now this afternoon I'm wearing shorts and a tank top because I'm, it's hot. Come on, Texas. But then of course I will take this over the freeze that we had in February. That was awful. 
I was just thinking about that last night. Eva and I were walking around in her room. We had all the lights turned off because she likes playing with flashlights now. She was carrying on the flashlight and showing it through the room. And I honestly, I, I had like a bit of a flashback of being at my parents' house and we were without power for like two days, two or three days. And um, just at night, everything was getting, like everything was so dark and so cold. And I remembered that because we obviously used flashlights in the house and um, just how crazy that was. Let's hope that doesn't happen again this year. Um, we have been starting to kind of take some precautions. Um, this house is actually really well insulated. I know I talk about like the heat and the AC and having to switch back and forth, but when we have it at the right temperature, it retains that temperature pretty decently. Um, like we said, we've only had to turn on the big heater once because it doesn't, it doesn't get crazy cold in here um, at night whenever the weather cools down outside. So we've been kind of thinking about things that we can do because if it happens again, we're gonna be here. We were with my parents because the house wasn't ready yet. If it happens again, we will be here. So we have to kind of plan because I mean, I guess we never know that that could happen again. So I guess one of the main things that I want to um, open up in this video is a conversation in the comments below. For anybody that kind of preps or is preparing for the winter, specifically people that are in Texas, because you also have to keep in mind that um, one of the main reasons that we struggled so badly here is because our, our homes, buildings, our basically the structure of electrical and water doesn't take into account massive deep freezes like that. So our water lines are only a couple inches um, in the ground. So that, that that was one of the main issues is everything froze because the the freeze was so deep. I think up north you guys basically bury things really, really low so that they don't freeze. Our piping isn't made for massive freezes just because that never, I can't say never anymore because it happened, but it happens, it's so rare that it happens, like that should not have happened, um, if that makes sense. So any of you Northerners, if you can give us some tips on how to prepare for that again, just I'm hoping that it doesn't, but I would much rather be prepared. So maybe some equipment that we can have at the house, any any tips that you can give, leave comments below. And then anybody in Texas, if you guys were prepared for that event when it happened last year, or I guess this year, if you have any advice for new homeowners, so things that we can do and plan ahead. So if we do know of any deep freezes that come, what we can do for the house um, and how to be prepared if we do lose power for a couple days heat and water uh, possibly because that is something we're just kind of considering and keeping in the back of our mind. Um, I don't think that anything will happen in December but possibility January would be January and February. Okay last little bit in today's video I can't I can't show you much because we're currently decorating for Christmas and that is going to be in the vlogmas but I wanted to show you what Matt hung today in the house. So we've got our wonderful family picture painting hanging. Um, just awesome. And it looks so good here. So we did move the shoe rack because the Christmas tree is currently in front of the window here, but I'm not gonna show you. And then the little entry table that was here is over there, which has Christmas stuff on it. So there's this. And then he's hanging a couple other things in Eva's room. I'll move around the Christmas stuff. So we've got a couple of her little pictures. These were actually uh, part of her baby shower uh, whenever we had that a couple years ago. And now we're also hanging a couple other little, oh, and then we should put like a little family picture here or something. That's what I was thinking. So we've got those going there. We're going to put some shelves here above her little toy boxes. There's a Christmas sign. Her Christmas tree is over here. Woo! Don't look. But that's gonna be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure and hit that thumbs up. Let us know what you're up to this week in the comments below. Thanksgiving is next week. So hopefully everybody's getting their plans ready. And then Christmas, then it begins. It's starting now, but it's actually taking us a lot longer to decorate and kind of get everything together because one, we had a lot of stuff in storage. Two, we have Eva 
who keeps us really busy. So we kind of, we've been having to decorate in between her. <laughs> so she's over next door with Matt's parents right now. So we're trying to get stuff done, but hope you enjoyed this video. As always, have fun out there. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show.